Hello everyone. Hello to Bob here. Welcome back. I hope I'm in frame. Uh, just want to do a little um, video on this uh, fuel transfer pump that I got from Harbor Freight. One of my uh, subscribers asked me to uh, review this and uh, I had mentioned in another video that I had the fuel transfer pump and uh, he asked me to tell him what I thought about it. So what I do when I'm done, this is a gasoline can, it's red, meant for gasoline. I put the pump in there. Now, this is one of my two diesel fuel cans and I absolutely, absolutely hate this spout. It leaks when I turn it upside down. Um, it's terrible. So, but I hate to throw it out. These things are expensive. These uh, five gallon buckets are unreal how much they cost. I guess it has to do with all the insurance that goes along with them and the engineering in this little spout, which is terrible. Let's be honest, it's terrible. So, but I'm going to show you, well, I have another one. Let me go grab my other fuel bucket. And uh, it's not so bad. It's not terrible. A fuel can, whatever you want to call it. And it has this uh, type of uh, spout. And it's a lot better than the previous one, but it costs $35, about $10, $15 more than this other bucket. So I was going to go buy another one of these, and, you know, it dribbles and leaks a little bit around the, the lid, but not as bad as the other one. And it has a push button when you put it into the uh, gas can or the gas tank. Yeah, uh, well, it's actually a fuel tank. You push this green button in and the fuel will start coming out when you have it uh, turned on its side. This is a better design, but it still is marginal. So I saw other folks who started getting these stick looking fuel pumps. Now, when you buy this at Harbor Freight, if you would buy one of these at Harbor Freight, now put the uh, item number down below. Uh, sometimes you can get these for like $9, maybe $6. I forget what it cost me. I got a nice sale on it. Um, but very reasonable, not overly expensive. Takes two D-cell batteries. Has a power switch on the top. You're not supposed to turn it on. When it's not submerged in water, fuel, you can pump gasoline with this, kerosene, diesel fuel, water. Um, I know you could pump those four liquids with it. I wouldn't suggest you using this to pump water that you're going to drink after you put it in some kind of fuel. And I wouldn't even, as cheap as they are, I would recommend you get one for each type of fuel that you're going to pump with it so uh, grab yourself one actually you can just use this one if you have one for diesel you can use it with kerosene and it'll be fine I don't think they will um, they're, they're pretty close to each other uh, chemically I guess I, I guess some people would argue with that and that's fine I'm not a uh, I'm not a petroleum engineer there's probably a lot of difference, but the amount of uh, kerosene that you would uh, transfer into this tank would not make a big difference. But gasoline could damage it. Uh, the kerosene won't damage it. Your engine. Don't just don't run your tractor on pure kerosene. Don't do that. Don't even put a gallon in there. You know. But a, a few drops, which is all this is going to have left over, if you would use it for kerosene and diesel just a few drops not even an ounce um, you're not going to hurt anything so let me uh, reposition the camera so I believe this pump will transfer a little over a gallon 
a minute. But what I'll do is I'll put a comment down below that tells you how much it pumps per minute um, in the video when I edit it. So I'm going to go ahead, start the pump. You can see the, um, I've got about two and a half gallons of fuel in there. Generally speaking, I keep my tank pretty much topped off. I cut some grass today. I still have uh, a little bit more to cut. Also working on my garage project. You probably hear that a lot, but um, I get sidetracked, so it's okay. I'm making progress, and that's all I all I really uh, want to do is make progress. You know, you gotta. You got you as you're making progress you also have to take care of the other things in life that so we're just about done and this thing is almost empty that worked out pretty good And it's really good because when you turn the power button off, the fuel stops flowing and it'll start back flowing down into the, the gas can. I'm sorry, the fuel can. So I think we got a fuel tank, a full, a full tank. Now, This was an old gas can that I used to use, and uh, I don't use it anymore because I have a gas can that uses this that uses this type of spout, and um, I, I might get away with using five or ten gallons of uh, gasoline a year. So I really don't use a whole lot of gasoline. So there's no reason to continue to use this can. So what I decided to do was to use this to store my fuel transfer pump. And that way I can put the lid back on this and not have fuel evaporating into the atmosphere. I'm not a I'm not a big environmentalist, but you know, I think every little bit, you know, as many people as we have on this planet, every little bit that you can do to cut down the amount of, of vapors that are coming from this type of thing helps. And, you know, if everybody does their part, uh, we make the planet a better place. You know, again, I'm not a tree hugger, um, but I'm not a person who wants to see our environment destroyed in the name of progress. So that's kind of where I come there from. I, I try to again. Hey, I'm going to wrap this, call it a day. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. This is Boda Bob saying... Good night.